everybody, today I am going to be going into my build for Black Widow, she in my opinion is one of the most deeply underrated and underappreciated characters in the whole game, she also in my opinion is just as good if not better than Hawkeye in the raid the problem is she is much more difficult to play fully understand and build so hopefully after watching this video I can spread some knowledge for Widow. Let's start out with the stats Widow's damage mainly comes from her crits and heroics so as standard we are going to pump our heroic as high as possible. After that I like to mainly play my Widow ranged so I have that as my secondary stat while still having a decent amount of might so I can still mix melee attacks into her combat if I need to. Widow has great built in crit chance and such easy access to battery we really don't need any proficiency. I do have a good amount of comic cards so you may need to add 60 points here if you are struggling to activate your perks. I do play Widow very glass cannon the whole way Widow is designed through her intrinsic abilities should make you try not to get hit as much as possible so I do play her pretty glass cannon, however, I will show in my gear later on a new chest piece you can use with her to get some excellent life steal and add a bit more resolve and resilience. With all that said let's jump into our gear. I the first slot I use two of the same piece just with different status effects on it. This one with the vibranium is what I generally take against bosses. This arguably would be better with just precision and valor as a double stat so we can max out our stats for boss damage as against bosses I only really use the guns and heroics to deal damage. Touch in Surge would also technically be a good shout for this slot and would offer more damage than Stealth Spike but I prefer the damage to be a little lower and active all the time over the unreliability of Touch in Surge. The second piece I use is the exact same it just swaps out the Vibranium with Sonic so I can have some fun setups against tougher enemies by applying Sonic against them with melee to finish them off with a Vibranium high caliber shot after. This isn't really needed against bosses though as your heroics will apply shock as an alternative to get battery damage. The top perk on here doesn't really matter they are not vital to the build. For my slot 2 I do like to use this beautiful piece that is almost perfect for my build. We have another nice stat spread of Valamite and Precision with our top perk being the Receiving Accelerator perk. This perk can offer a huge 40% damage increase to weak points if we are receiving the Sonic Conduit. There are ways to activate this yourself but it's more of a just really nice to have perk when your team are using sender perks. We have Vibranium on our status as I have discussed in many other build videos Vibranium is just a must have for the raid anyway but pairs even better with Widow due to her shock damage heroics. I really don't like using Sonic here and Vibranium is a must have. Finally, we have Faultless buff while targeted would be better you sadly can't get a targeted buff with Vibranium on your weapons so we have to make do with the Faultless. This isn't so bad as to be honest Widow at 175 doesn't even really need a damage buff as she can take out most enemies in one or two headshots anyway. It also pairs nicely with this artifact so I can go into a boss with melee first activate my faultless and payload rockets and then follow up with Widow's barrage of high damage heroics. I do also use this targeted buff piece with precision and valor to use in the shuri room and when shooting claw in the eye so I can activate my damage buff from ranged attacks. For our slot 3 I use two different options one for when I want damage and another when I want survivability. The damage one is pretty standard and a staple of builds for all characters. Again more damage stats and reverberation breaker. The granting perk can also be decent for our lack of defenses sometimes. I do also have this one which is also good which swaps out the breaker for more damage when invisible both can be good. However, if you do want some more defense stats, I have been enjoying this new piece that you can get from vaults. It comes with the three stats shown here. 
The first perk gives us some extra willpower regeneration which will go nicely with one of the slot 4s I will show you later. On top if that we have a chance to invisible on kill at a pretty high 38% and to top it off a nice 15% crit chance when being invisible. This piece offers a nice balance of more defensive stats with some great overall extra utility. You can get this from farming vaults. As mentioned, the willpower region goes nice with our first slot 4. This piece has strike rush on that can allow us to heal off dealing damage. These perks combined can give you some pretty decent health regeneration. It also has arsenal boom giving us another 15% crit chance again this goes back to why we have zero proficiency perks like this more than make up for it. Finally, we have the god tier perk, shadow ops assistance will allow us to regenerate those super powerful heroic really really fast. You can easily max out shadow ops using this skill that allows you to gain intrinsic from headshots. I recommend using the pistols either charged or just single fire to rapidly gain intrinsic. While picking up an orb will regenerate most your heroics there is some other skills you want to use with this. Heroic overcharge will add some extra heroic energy regeneration and then you could use invisible recharge for even more but I prefer invisible willpower to go with our other health regeneration perks. Then finally you can use melee charge this way if no orbs are available simple doing melee attacks while overcharged will supercharge your heroics. However, if you use this skill called shadow gifts you will almost never run out of heroics. Even though the perk says 35% it's actually 100. You can see in this clip every single kill you get will drop a heroic orb giving you a crazy number of orbs giving you infinite heroics almost. I will point out Dark Thorns is still way better for bosses due to the huge damage you get from activating it. Finally, I do also like using this raid piece when I have some teammates sending the Sonic Conduit buff on my team. The piece really speaks for itself for pistol damage and more assault heroic damage. It also allows us to be a sender ourselves if I use the Sonic slot 1 from earlier. I already showed this artifact earlier but having some sort of payload to apply vibranium is great for bosses allowing that instant full status bar from the payload. This piece is perfect from me. I find the percentage to be too low on the bulwark ranged crit version of this so the melee works perfect for me as I will use melee to activate my faultless buff anyway. We have the added benefit of perk breaker and valor and precision making this the perfect artifact for my build. I combine this with a triple valor artifact. I have already gone over most the important skills already but I will flick through them in case anyone wants to see what I am using for everything else. If you have any questions about other skills, please leave them in the comments below. I also have a public discord you can check out for LFG and any other help with the game. I also recommend you check out Yard Rat Hearts in the description for someone who goes into Widow in some of his videos in a lot more detail. Peace out and thanks for watching.